Hi there. Did you know that seizures can cause the muscles in your body to work against themselves? Normally, when one muscle tenses, another automatically relaxes, which creates movement. During a grand mal seizure, though, your muscles can all simultaneously decide that they're the most important ingredient in this particular beefcake and flex individually. Sometimes, this can result in injuries and conditions that would be nearly impossible unless it's the result of a seizure or electrocution. For example, in the overwhelming majority of dislocated shoulders, regardless of whether it's from sports or a fall or a car accident, that arm bone is almost definitely going to take the path of least resistance and pop out the front of the socket. In around just 2% to 4% of cases, a shoulder will pop out backwards in what's called a posterior dislocation. These are exclusively the results of seizures or electrocutions. When all of your muscles take that surge of energy and say, it's my turn to flex now, it may cause a big enough change in the balance of things that the joint is sort of squeezed out the other way. Another fun fact about dislocations, it's not easy for the bone to just bust itself out of the joint without further consequences. With so much pressure and force, it's very possible to leave a divot in one bone when it pushes its way past the other. This is called a hill sax lesion. For one of the backward seizures or shock dislocations, it's naturally called a reverse hill sax. In either direction, it means that once the bone's back in place, it now has less resistance to keep it from happening again. Sometimes you don't even need to have a seizure to pop it out backwards the second time. So hypothetically, a seizure could have caused a backwards dislocated shoulder in an upper 30-something Midwestern epileptic patient in, say, 2021, and left a little divot in the bone. That handsome devil could be trying to move a box across the floor in, say, late January of 2024, and if enough of a divot from a previous dislocation existed, that bone could make another run for it this time with less resistance and cause a whole lot of mayhem in the surrounding connective tissue. Hypothetically. Two more months of physical therapy starts next week. I'll keep you posted.